Hey guys, this is Bankai reporting live from the Nexus and today we're talking Armored Core 6, yet another mech game like Harkin 2 that seems to be nothing more than a fleeting dream. Well, maybe it's not quite as hopeless as Harkin guys, considering that FromSoft, the developer of Armored Core, has been on top of the world since shooting into stardom with the success of their Soul series. But anyway, I'll be talking about some of what we can expect from Armored Core 6 in this video, so stick around for that information because I sure as hell won't be telling you that stuff in the intro. By the way, if you like mech games and mech game related content, then definitely hit subscribe while you're at it. Why don't you hit the bell or go to hell? Anyway, guys, let's get into this video. Big disclaimer, the news that I'm sharing in this video is from a website called Laptop Mag. I'd love to tell you that I did some kind of massive research and put a lot of effort into this video, but honestly guys, that would be a load of bullshit. I have no idea how credible this website is. I mean, these guys could be posting this stuff for shits and giggles. I really couldn't tell you. And um, by the way, I use the word news very loosely here, guys. I mean, some of this stuff was published uh, maybe in January of this year. So, I mean, this video is more so something like a, a, a very uh, slight update about Armored Core 6 and there are some screenshots here and there and they look convincing so at the very least Armored Core fans are in a much better place than Harkin fans and I can tell you that much because Jesus himself will be spotted in downtown Manhattan pissing about before Harkin 2 gets so much as a trailer anyway let's talk about the story for Armored Core 6 so let's see here uh, it says in the past Sub-substance called Melange caused a cosmic catastrophe on planet Bashtar uh, that engulfed the surrounding star systems and eventually its very existence was lost. Decades later, the Melange reaction confirmed again on planet Bashtar. In search of the unknown substance that should have been lost, various speculations begin to swirl. Uh, speculations, guys, that's, that's very good. Hopefully these speculations lead to a lot of uh, huge bloody mech battles in, in space and on earth because uh, you know that's what we sign up for but anyway various parties are getting involved the government corporations cultists and unknown jerk offs I'm sorry I mean mercenaries sound like uh, the mercenary ones might be us guys uh, anyway the person who wrote this article describes this as a dune ripoff which is hilarious uh, they could be right, but I'd have to see the execution to see if that is really the case. I mean, who knows? The author of the article could just be the biggest Dune fanboy that I've ever come across. He probably really, really enjoys riding massive, flaccid sandworms across the empty expanse that is Arrakis. The world of Armored Core 6 was created by the man himself, Hidetaka Miyazaki, the godfather of the Souls franchise. Miyazaki has a great mind for fantasy worlds and I have the utmost confidence in his ability to pull off some world building in this game. Let's see if we have anything on the actual gaming aspect uh, because you know this is a video game after all. By the way, Laptop Mag got their news from a forum called Resetera? Resetera? Uh, listen guys, I can't read enough. Anyway, and I have to admit the post here seems legit. So first of all, it's going to be a third person shooter like all other Armored Core games. A first person Armored Core game would just be some really weird shit, right? To be frank, playing that would just make me feel like uh, an absolute prick. Uh, apparently FromSoft wants us to feel the tension of short range and long range battles, meaning our mechs will not only use guns and rockets, but also shields and swords. To be honest, that's not new to Armored Core. I do remember using sabers in Armored Core 5 and even Armored Core 1 back in the late 90s. Uh, Three-dimensional dynamic action. Okay, so you can move in ways a human can't by using your mech. All right, guys, I'm done reading this bit because uh, it sounds like some sh they're going to slap on the back of a CD case when the game gets here. It's worth mentioning that mech customization will come back. That's great. A mech game without customization is like porn where they blur out the private parts. And honestly, I mean, why would you even do that? And who watches that kind of porn in the first place? Back in 2017, Miyazaki did mention that he was working on a new armored core. Even more interesting, uh, Ty Frank 
who is one of the writers of the sci-fi series Expanse, which is great by the way, mentioned in that year, 2017, that he would be working with FromSoft on a secret project. Now you might think that there's no way in hell that has anything to do with Armored Core, but you must remember that George R.R. R. Martin is one of the writers of Elden Ring, and George is also affiliated with the writers of Expanse. Now keep in mind, Elden Ring was created by FromSoft, right? And Miyazaki, the same people who are working on Armored Core. So he actually supported those books heavily. That's George, right? So his friend uh, working on another FromSoft game, that really isn't so crazy if you really think about it, guys. So there may be some truth to some of these rumors. The person who reported this earlier this year claimed that they've never played an Armored Core game but thought the footage... And when I say reported, guys, this is speaking about the forum, Resetera, Resetera, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, they claim that they've never played an Armored Core game, but thought the footage and other material they came across looked very Soulsy, right? It looked like it was very uh, Souls influenced, basically. This is a user from the forum I mentioned earlier, like I said. They claim to even have a part of, uh, to have been a part of a customer survey. They describe mechs hovering or traveling together in a snowy area that led to some large wall or gate, which reminded them of the Souls game for obvious reasons. You know, when you reach the end of a certain uh, area on the map and you come across a large door and uh, what you call it, you go through the fog and you fight the boss. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Anyway, that's it for the video. I've been thinking to steer the channel in this direction with the content where I just report on mech games, mostly Armored Core and Hawking for now. Unfortunately, both of these new installments seem to have years left before they are ready for release, so the mech game community will remain in a drought for the next couple of years, is what it's looking like. Anyway, remember to like this video, and to share, and to hit subscribe, unless of course, you're a waste man. That's right guys, I don't make videos for waste man. Until next time. What we do is go back, back, back.